Here's hoping you'll never have to, but just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. The jack, jack handle, and compact spare tire are stowed under the load floor in the trunk. Lift up the load floor cover and remove the hold down. Remove the scissors jack and lug wrench from the spare wheel as an assembly. Turn the jack screw to the left to loosen the lug wrench and remove the wrench from the jack assembly. Go ahead now and loosen, but do not remove the wheel lug nuts by turning them to the left one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the ignition is off, the hazard lights are on, and the parking brake is fully set. Blocking both the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. If changing the right front tire, block the left rear tire. There is a front and rear jacking location on each side of the vehicle. Place the jack underneath the lift area that is closest to the flat tire. Turn the jack screw clockwise to firmly engage the jack saddle with the lift area. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Now you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the right. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the lug nuts and wheel. Position the spare tire on the vehicle with the valve stem facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Position the spare tire on the vehicle and reinstall the lug nuts with the cone-shaped end toward the wheel. Lightly tighten the lug nuts clockwise. Now you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the left and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the lug nuts. Alternate lug nuts until each lug nut has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by your authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, just secure the tire, jack, and tools in their proper locations, and you're ready to go. Remember, though, compact spares are for temporary emergency use only. With these spares, do not drive more than 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the Owner's Information DVD or dodge.com owners for complete details and other important safety information.